My favorite time of the year is upon us, fall. The swimsuits are tucked away, the sweaters are coming out. Today, we are going to tackle muscles two ways, once again, with a seasonal luxurious twist. No pumpkin spice. Everybody should know how to use a knife. Use everything, waste nothing. Let's start at the beginning. It ain't that hard, okay? Welcome to my kitchen, hope you're doing well. My name is Mitch May. We are working through Anthony Bourdain's cookbook, doing every recipe in here. Today we're gonna to tackle mussels, two ways. Bourdain actually has five methods to cook, but we're gonna go after the more seasonal ones. Our first is moule a la grecque. As AB says, it's a dish more suited to fall or winter. And then we're gonna jump into mussels a la portuguese, made with chorizo. I have Bourdain's book linked down below in the description of this video. Let's get moving, or as they say in Japan, andiamo. We have our mussels. I'm going to cut the mussels in half. However, everything else is going to stay the same for the recipe. These mussels have already been cleaned. The dead ones have been tossed out. The little beards have been ripped off as well. And then I gave them a quick rinse. We're gonna get these off to the side. Now, we're gonna put these in the fridge. Simple prep, this is why I love mussels. We're gonna begin with a fennel bulbage. Get off the stemmies. Cut her down the middle. And we're gonna have to take out this Core. It's kind of nice. It's like a guide. <laughs> there's no there's no missing what we got to shoot for. Just being careful. I'm also going to remove this layer here because I'm not too fond of that. Shout out to Martha Stewart. This is how I found out how to cut fennel. And now we thinly slice. We can go either against the fennel or with the fennel. I'm going to go with it because why not? I really do like the flavor of fennel. It's unique. It's like anise, but it's licorice -y. Not gonna lie. I always say I like it. I eat it. Regret those words immediately. Anyway, knock out a quick onion. Bourdain calls for two shallots. Just gonna do one medium-sized red onion, thinly slice as well. That is our cutting prep. Over to the pot, we just dump everything in and let the mussels release their juices, the flavors combine. Let's go. We get a quarter cup of olive oil. Bourdain just says to heat it up, so I figure we go medium heat. Uh, well, that's coming up to temperature. I forgot we need to crush four things of garlic. And these are big-ass pieces of garlic, so I'm actually gonna give them a nice little slicing. Beautiful. I am going to add the fennel and onion first and then hit the garlic towards the end. The garlic is gonna need a little more, a little less love, rather. Let those onions and fennel sweat a little bit. Let me know what you think about mussels, really your favorite version of mussels. I can eat them anyway, literally just boiled. But if you have like one that you prefer, fire away, I freaking love mussels. You could do a drinking game with the amount of times I say mussels in this freaking episode. Before we get any color there, add our garlic. Let that cook for probably two, three minutes. Once I smell it, then I move on to the next step, which honestly, I smell it already, but that's probably just because I'm coated in it. I could kill 19 vampires just by looking at them. We're now going to add our white wine. Coriander, I don't have the whole seeds, I just have ground. Supermarket did not have fennel seeds, so we're gonna cook this sans fennel. We're gonna bring this up to a boil. Get a nice little steam therapy for my left hand. I'm gonna hold off on the salt because mussels have the lovely essence of the salty sea in them already. It's gonna add half of these in there, stir. We slap on the lid. Bourdain says cook until done, which is very soon. Seven minutes, our lovely mussels have died and opened. Of course, we have to get this freaking broth all up in there. Doop, ba doop, boop. You know what I wonder? Can you overcook mussels? Or rather undercook as well. Mm. If only I had a piece of bread to soak up that sauce. This is honestly my favorite part of eating mussels, <laughs> getting that juice. The broth alone. I definitely understand the vibe with the whole seasonal kind of warmish flavors because it's definitely really nice, sweet flavor that I've never had with mussels before. Give ourselves a little check mark here and let's move on to the much more robust Portuguese version. Moule a la Portuguese. I like how Borden says, I had to include this, my boss is Portuguese. <laughs> Everything's prepped up. We're gonna just kind of rapid fire this here, but I do want to show you the one ingredient that I unfortunately couldn't find, chorizo. The chorizo that I found was full of nitrates and a whole a lot of bullshit. So I ended up getting this boar's head uncured hot soprasada. I think soprasada is Italian, sounds Italian. One ounce or 28 grams, thinly sliced. Over to the pot, let's cook these mussels. Once again, we're gonna get our olive oil over medium high heat-ish. We add half a white onion. Ooh, that oil is not 
nearly as hot as it should be. That's okay. It is time for a comment of the week. Jones229 who said, it sounds like I can sound like a culinary trained chef. That is false, but I appreciate the kind words. I'm just kind of explaining what I see, explaining what I smell. Sometimes my voiceover videos, I prefer them because it's more of the food. <clears throat> because it's more the food and less of my goofy looking face. Thank you for your comment, man. I really appreciate it. Let's get moving. All right, let these do their thing. Cool little tip I found. Wrapping herbs with a moist towelette and then plastic wrap. It really allows them to live quite a long time, looking fresh, looking clean. Our chorizo and our garlic. Take it up off the heat a little bit. The onions are cooking a little too much. Amazing flavor developing. At this point, I'm gonna add our wine. Let's let that come up to a boil. And a quick stir. Cook with the lid on until all the muscles are open. Eight to 10 minutes. They look fantastic. We hit these with some parsley and cilantro. Bourdain says you can use a knob of butter. Why the hell not? Looking heavenly, we're gonna plate this up. If you're into these kind of videos, think about subscribing, joining my crew. It supports me big time. And also, when I drop videos spontaneously, you'll be the first to know. I have to try a presentation Bourdain recommends in the beginning of the muscles section. To quote, spreading each shell open slightly and resting each muscle upright in a sort of tight floral or concentric pattern. You can, if you don't burn your fingers too badly, make a cookbook ready money shot. Just do it quickly. It might be worth a try. We outdid ourselves here. I already ate some of it because it was so freaking good, but it is just like little candy prepared <laughs> mussels. And you dump some bread in there. The broth is heavenly. We are moving through these recipes. Give it a little check mark. And I can't help but think how this would taste with artisanal chorizo, as AB says, from like a Portuguese specialty shop. I think it would just be amazing to one day go to a market in France or Portugal and just buy something straight from the market, nothing imported. It'd be absolutely incredible. One day, man. One day. What's up? <laughs>